In a previous video, I demonstrated how Universal Indicator can be used to find the pH of different brands of alkaline water. While doing so, I found that Essential Water has a pH of 9 or 10, but Meyer brand water has a pH of 7. So it's neutral and not alkaline as it claims on the packaging. Setting aside the dubious claims people make about alkaline water, I thought I'd take a little time to explore these two products in more detail. First, I checked the ingredients list of both brands of water, starting with Essentia. I guessed it was the dipotassium phosphate that causes the high pH in this brand of water. On the other hand, the only additive in the Meyer water is pink Himalayan rock salt. This consists almost entirely of sodium chloride, which is neutral. To see if my suspicions were correct, I decided to take some neutral water at pH 7 and add some dipotassium phosphate and pink Himalayan rock salt to each. Sure enough, when I added the dipotassium phosphate, I saw a shift to a blue or violet color, indicating high pH or alkaline conditions. On the other hand, when the pink Himalayan rock salt was added to the water, there was no color change observed. That's expected, because sodium chloride is neutral. I gotta admit, I find this result to be a bit humorous. The supposed benefits of drinking alkaline water are dubious at best and pseudoscience at worst. And it looks like some brands of alkaline water can't even get the pseudoscience right. 